Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know, wherever you may be. The new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, is a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning. The link is in the description panel below. Tell them that the Denarian sent you so you get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber. Today is November 12, 2019. Know that today, we are one day closer to our goal than yesterday, and we all cross the finish line together. First article of interest. Economist. Currency auction of the most corrupt files. And allowed the transfer of large funds to Amman and Dubai. November 12, 2019 Baghdad, economist Mohammed Mint, on Tuesday, considered the file auction currency as one of the most corrupt files in Iraq, pointing out that it allowed the transfer of large funds to Amman and Dubai. Mint said in an interview that the file of the currency auction of the most corrupt files in Iraq, noting that in 2009 was published controls. Regulations and instructions of the central bank allows the purchase of hard currency at discounted prices and to certain banks belonging to individuals or deputies or friends and responsible partners for benefit. These banks have transferred large funds as a result of the currency auction to Oman, Dubai and even some European countries and benefited from influential people from power, Mint said adding that the currency auction file is one of the most corrupt files reviewed with each reform. He added that, despite the seizure of the past five steps, he is now returning again for reasons due to regional rivalries and sanctions on Iran and the case of ISIS, which took place with the banks that have opened. Very currency auction. A large number of financial policy experts opposed the currency auction which they consider a waste of public money in these circumstances if it is not properly regulated and employed to serve public and economic interests. Next article of interest. The Alliance of Powers announces its position on constitutional amendments and defines its demands. 2019 to 12 November 1636. The Iraqi coalition held a meeting to discuss political developments and demonstrations in the country. The coalition said in a statement received by the agency, Euphrates News, a copy, standing with the demands of peaceful demonstrators, pointing out that a vivid expression of the suffering of Iraqis in all walks of life, as a result of poor services, and that Iraqis deserve a decent life and the right to demand a homeland generous in giving their dreams come true. They have endured all the injustice of lean years over the decades and have made sacrifices to defend Iraq in the war on terror in order to preserve democracy and the new political order. He stressed the coalition of Iraqi forces to demand the government to implement the demands of the demonstrators, declaring its readiness to cooperate with the political forces in the country to work on radical reforms, including the adoption of laws that meet the needs of the Iraqi people calling on the demonstrators to maintain peaceful demonstrations of vandals of public and private property, and not assault on the security forces. The participants called on the government to accelerate the procedures for the return of displaced people to their homes in the cities liberated from the terrorists. Accelerate the mechanisms of compensation for damage caused by military operations, resolve the file of missing and absentees, and reconstruction and start a new phase of solidarity and community cohesion, Iraq, from end to end. With regard to constitutional amendments, the Alliance of Powers stressed the need to make all necessary amendments that ensure the consolidation of public rights and freedoms from any violation, and develop it in a way that contributes to the transition to the state of citizenship and promote the principle of decentralization to contribute to the development of the federal parliamentary system as an ideal means to achieve justice alliance also welcomed the United Nations National Dialogue Initiative. The participants decided to work hard through the parliamentary committees to follow up the implementation of the reform packages launched by the House of Representatives and provide all support for government reform measures and activate mechanisms to combat corruption and refer the files of spoilers to the judiciary. Next article of interest. Among them is to limit the demonstrations to Tahrir Square. This is the plan of the Iraqi elite to contain the protests. November 12, 
2019 Baghdad. The Iraqi elite has lined up behind what can be called a survival strategy to contain street protests, with political reforms and elections next year in an attempt to survive several weeks of popular anti-government demonstrations. The proposed solution would include the survival of the ruling elite in power, which is unlikely to calm protesters demanding the departure of the entire political elite. The protests are the biggest challenge to the political system that followed the U.S. invasion in 2003. At least 320 protesters have died and most have been killed by live ammunition fired by security forces at the crowds. But the violent security response did little to convince protesters to clear the streets. Tactics A new security official said new tactics have been approved in an attempt to limit the demonstrations in Tahrir Square in the capital, a crossroads that leads directly to the Republic Bridge, which runs over the Tigris River and where protesters have been protesting for weeks. Security forces are working quietly to tighten the cordon on Tahrir Square and from all directions the security official said. At the same time, the authorities will push for a reform plan to calm the crowds by holding new elections, to be overseen by a more independent commission, as well as a parliament whose composition is being reconsidered to be smaller and more representative of the diverse population. Sources attending recent meetings with the government say that such a strategy now has the support of the pro-government Fatalet Hadi al-Amiri bloc, as well as its main rival, the Sa'iron bloc, led by Miqtada al-Sadr, who has repeatedly criticized Tehran and called on Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi to resign. The plan is also backed by Sunni and Kurdish political leaders. The anger of the demonstrators against all politicians, including religious figures, forced all political parties to listen to Iranian advice and work together to keep Abdul Mahdi's government, said a source close to Sadr. Even Muqtada al Sadr is with this approach, he said, noting that Sadr is concerned that demonstrations he does not control may threaten his standing among his followers. Reforms According to a proposal by President Baram Saleh, the new reforms include reducing the minimum age for candidates, increasing the number of voting districts, and reducing the number of 329 seats in parliament by 30%. Technocrats and judges will replace political appointees at the Independent High Electoral Commission. Two sources close to the talk said Parliament would vote on the amendments before eventually setting a date for early elections in 2020, leaving room for possible delays. Is that Shaban Dar, an independent mediator among senior political figures, including Abdul Mahdi, said a partial cabinet reshuffle had been agreed in principle to keep Abdul Mahdi as president. They all lined up behind the Prime Minister now to avoid chaos, he said. It remains to be seen whether the promises of reform will withdraw any momentum from the protests. Reforms are clearly less than the protesters' demands about ending the entire political system, but the parties could present the plan as evidence that they are serious about moving in the right direction. Shiite Claire Kali al Sistani called for serious reform within an appropriate time frame. He urged protesters not to vacate the streets before concrete steps were taken to meet their demands. The protesters' demands have become more specific, with some calling for a system led by an elected chief executive, which owes little credit to the political factions that chose all post-2003 prime ministers behind closed doors. Most protesters say they want the rulers to leave. Amar, 20, from Sadr City in Baghdad wore a helmet on his head and covered his face with a tent for medical assistance where he was receiving treatment for the effects of tear gas. We will die here for our future. Next article of interest. Mr. Amar al-Hakim. Iraqis are capable of reforming their internal affairs. 2019 to 12 November, 8044 Baghdad. The head of the opposition national wisdom movement, Mr. Amar al-Hakim stress the ability of Iraqis to reform their internal affairs. Iraq is a reality for the Iraqis who have struggled for this proud people and offered blood, tears and great sacrifices for their pride and dignity, said Damar al-Hakim. We reaffirm our firm belief in this fact, and we condemn all forms of external interference in Iraqi internal affairs, he said, 
adding that Iraqis are able to address their problems within their constitutional institutions. Mr. Amar al-Hakim said, what is happening today of the popular Iraqi movement and the efforts of the three state authorities to meet the demands of the demonstrators, despite the need to do more confirms the ability of Iraqis to reform their internal affairs away from outside interference. Next article of interest, Secretary of State for the UN team, we must act in respect of Iraq's sovereignty and jurisdiction. November 12, 2019 11-16 Baghdad Foreign Minister Muhammad Ali al-Hakim stressed the need to act in a respect for Iraq's sovereignty and jurisdiction. This came during a meeting in Baghdad on Tuesday, the head of the investigation team for ISIS crimes in Iraq, Karim Khan. The meeting discussed the role of the UN investigation team in collecting, storing evidence that criminalizes ISIS terrorist gangs, and keeping them in Iraq to ensure the rights of Iraqi victims, a ministry statement said. During the meeting, Minister al-Hakim stressed the importance of the UN team's cooperation with the Iraqi government to prepare the requirements of its work, stressing to work in respect of the sovereignty of Iraq and its jurisdiction over the crimes committed by ISIS terrorist gangs. Next article of interest. Gabon, we will not allow the procrastination of constitutional amendments. November 12, 2019 Baghdad a member of the Constitutional Amendments Committee, Mohammed Salem al said on Tuesday that his committee demanded to host experts from the Constitutional Jurisprudence Law and professors of universities, unions and unions to develop legal formulations to amend the Articles of the Constitution. Gibbons said in a statement to the information that the Committee on Constitutional Amendments asked the unions and unions to conduct workshops and seminars and educational questionnaires for all segments of society and listen to them on the problems of the Constitution. He added that the committee formed will not work under political pressure and will not allow the procrastination to amend the Articles of the Constitution, which was a major cause of quotas and corruption. The Gibbons stressed the need for continued demonstrations to put pressure on the political blocs to make real reforms that would change a large number of articles of the Constitution. Next article of interest. Reducing inflation corrects economic plans. Tuesday, November 12, 2019 Free Membership. Inflation is defined as a continuous rise in the general level of prices. The rise is always associated with the continuous decline in the value of money. Inflation rates are governed by a range of factors, including the country's monetary policy, the size of GDP, the balance of trade with other countries, the country's self-sufficiency rates of industrial and agricultural goods and products, and population growth rates. Inflation comes from the large and persistent demand for goods and products and the lack of supply because of the imbalance between supply and demand in favor of demand, leading to a cumulative rise in prices of goods, products and services and a successive decline in purchasing power. Inflation is also an economic phenomenon to which the various countries of the world are subjected to their different capitalist or targeted economy. Inflation causes negative economic and social impacts on members of society of varying intensity, which requires work to reduce these negative effects, both economic and social. Inflation in development has a negative impact, particularly on government economic policies and plans due to price differentials between the estimates made in the economic plans for their implementation and the changing reality due to higher prices resulting from inflation. Therefore, it is necessary to work by the competent authorities in Iraq to reduce the high inflation rates and work to control, and always be within the reasonable and economically acceptable and not be very negative effects in order to reduce its economic and social consequences, because of the other negative effects of inflation increasing the financial gap between the wealthy and low-income people in favor of the first category due to the erosion of the savings of these individuals due to the price increases to them which means increasing the impoverishment of the poor and increasing the wealth of the wealthy and causing an increase in the class gap between the layers of society, leading to increased disadvantage among many groups in the society.
Controlling inflation is very important in order to continue working to achieve economic development and the well-being of the members of society resulting from the stability of prices and enable the majority of citizens to buy goods and services at prices acceptable. Inflation rates can be reduced by reforming fiscal and monetary policies and using financial and monetary instruments in a correct manner, thereby reducing inflation rates and achieving control over these rates and keeping them within the economically permissible limits. Therefore, it is necessary to develop plans to get rid of this economic problem of social dimensions in Iraq and not to make it have significant negative effects and does not allow them to influence the policies of economic reform and economic development negatively, and can benefit from the results of scientific economic research in the development of these plans and divided the experience of other countries that succeeded in getting rid of the problem of inflation, taking into account the special economic conditions and capabilities of Iraq, can be used to achieve success in efforts to get rid of inflation. Form Inflation Next Article of Interest Iraq signs a Memorandum of Understanding with France to provide services. 12th November, 2019. The Ministry of Finance, on Tuesday, signed a Memorandum of Understanding with France to advance the construction and the provision of services in Iraq. The Ministry said in a statement seen by Economy News, Minister Fuad Hussein discussed with the French ambassador in Baghdad Bruno Hubert the latest developments in the Iraqi arena and the subject of popular protests. The statement added, Hussein briefed the ambassador on the vision and plans of the Iraqi government reform in terms of providing employment opportunities and the realization of the principle of social justice among segments of society and sorting and distribution of residential land and serious initiation of anti-corruption measures and administrative and economic reforms. The statement pointed out that the French ambassador expressed his country's full support for the reform steps followed by the Iraqi government in order to restore stability and promote construction and provide services to citizens, noting that a memorandum of understanding was signed between the two sides in this regard. Next article of interest. Urgent Pompeo condemns Abdul Mahdi's crackdown on demonstrators and urges him to take these immediate steps. November 12. 2019-2035 Baghdad. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo denounced the suppression of demonstrators in Iraq. A statement by U.S. State Department spokeswoman Morgan Ortigas on Pompeo's phone call with Prime Minister Adel Abdel Mahdi said Pompeo stressed that peaceful demonstrations are an essential element in all democracies. Pompeo denounced the death toll among demonstrators as a result of the repression by the Iraqi government and the use of lethal force against them, as well as reports of the kidnapping of demonstrators. He urged U.S. Secretary of State Abdul Mahdi to take immediate steps to address the legitimate grievances of the demonstrators by enacting reforms and addressing corruption. Pompeo reaffirmed the United States' continued commitment to supporting a strong, sovereign and prosperous Iraq based on the strategic framework agreement signed between the two countries. Pompeo also pledged to continue supporting Iraqi security forces in the fight against ISIS. Next article of interest. New Jafi and Abadi agree to question of dual Mahdi and a peaceful transfer of power. November 12, 2019 2054 Baghdad, the head of the Salvation Front and Development Front. Osama Nujafi, to proceed with the process of questioning Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi, in the House of Representatives. Nujafi said in a statement received, Euphrates News, a copy of it, he, met this afternoon President of the Coalition Victory, Haider al Abadi, and agreed to cooperate and coordinate the work to advance the process of questioning the Prime Minister and cooperation with the rest of the blocs to achieve this purpose fair to the voice of the people and will. He also stressed the importance of achieving a peaceful and democratic transition of power to an election with sound and sincere results. More articles of interest to come. Hit that like and the subscribe button and check out the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning. The link is in the description panel below. Be sure to tell them that the Denarian sent you so you get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber.
I encourage you, knowledge is power. Stay informed and stay alert. Over and out for now, the Denarian.